So I just got Trezor Safe 3, which is their latest Trezor wallet that is equipped with the latest secure chip EAL6+. Trezor Model 1 and Trezor Model T don't have one. So this is the only one that has this latest, supposedly the most secure chip. So this is their third wallet in the line of three total wallets. Trezor Model 1, Trezor Model T, and this is Trezor Safe 3, the latest model. And this one is priced at $79 US at the moment. Trezor Model 1 is priced at $59 and Trezor Model T is $179. So let me show you what's inside the box, how to set it up, and we're also going to set up Trezor Suite, which is a software that you use with this wallet so you can see all your coins. So this is what the box of the new Trezor Safe 3 looks like. I gotta say I really like this simple design and this color green is really nice on the box. And on the back, as you can see, it has pin and password protected, USB-C cable included, Shamir backup. I'm not really familiar with that and I'm not going to use backups either way. And two-factor authentication. It looks really simple but really nice. One more thing to know before we start cutting the plastic is make sure that this treasure is sealed first here and then that the plastic is still intact. Otherwise, it might be compromised. So make sure that you inspect the box that is not compromised. So let's go ahead and cut the plastic. You're going to pull this seal. What happens in your wallet stays in your wallet. I kind of like that. Now we're just going to lift it up. And this is the presentation. So as you can see, get started. Here's your wallet. Let's go and see what's over here. There's just a get started guide, treasure sticker, lock Bitcoin sticker and two recovery seed phrase booklets so you can write down your recovery seed phrase. And I gotta say that I like this one a little bit more than Ledger recovery seed sheets because these are actually like little booklets because you can open it up, you can see your seed phrase right over here, but when it's like this, you cannot see it. Where the Ledger ones is always open like this. I guess you can fold it as well, but this is how it came, but this one comes closed up like that. The next thing we got is this USB-C to USB-C, and that's another difference compared to the two other wallets that this one comes with USB-C to USB-C. Trezor Model 1, I believe, comes with micro USB and USB-A, and the Model T comes with USB-A to USB-C, if I'm not mistaken. And this is the only one that comes USB-C to USB-C. That's another plus for me. All right, now let's take out the wallet. It actually looks way smaller than I thought it would be. You got this plastic. And you can see the back is solar gold. It comes in four color options, black, silver, rose, and gold. I forgot the exact names, but this one is gold. And I think it looks really nice. And that is it. There's nothing more in the box. So let's go ahead and set it up. All right. So unlike Ledger Wallet, which you can set it up on device itself, Trezor Wallet requires connection to a computer because we're going to be using Trezor Suite in order to set it up. And what we're going to need for this is the wallet itself, the USB-C cable, our two recovery sheets, and I recommend using both and placing it in different spots afterwards. And as you can see, it also says here, don't make digital copies and never share it with anyone. So I suggest you write down on both of these sheets and hide them in different spots. Maybe one in your safe, the other one somewhere else. Then we're going to need a pen to write it down. And that's basically it. So the first thing that we're going to do, by the way, there is this little sticker. I hope it focuses. Yeah. This little sticker covers USB-C port. So what we're going to do, we're going to take off that sticker. I don't know if you can see, but it comes off really weird. feels like it's going to leave residue, but there it is. I don't know if you guys can see. The USB-C port is available. So I'm going to use the USB-C cable that I already have to connect it, but you can use the one that it came with. And it's going to show you a little message right over here saying that Get started with your treasure at treasure.io forward slash start. So let's go ahead and do that. And you're greeted with this message. Congratulations on getting your new treasure. So in order for us to set it up, we're going to need to use treasure suite. So what we're going to do is click download for desktop, or you can also select whatever 
computer you're using, Windows or maybe Mac M1 or Mac on Intel or Linux, or you can also set it up using your phones, iOS or Android. So I am on Windows, so I'm gonna click Windows. Once downloaded, we're gonna do double click. Once you click on the installation file, it's gonna prompt you to choose whether you wanna install it for anyone using this computer or just for me. I'm just gonna leave it for me and click install. And that was it. Run Treasure Suite is checked. So I'm gonna click finish. If you get a little firewall alert like this, just do private networks such as my home or work network and click allow access. Anonymous data collection, so it's up to you. You wanna share it or not. I'm gonna uncheck it and click confirm. And it says that you've connected at Trezor Safe 3. Device security check. My hologram was intact and untampered with, which is correct. And hologram is that little sticker that was covering USB-C. My device was bought from the official Trezor shop or a trusted reseller. Yes, I bought it directly on Trezor.io and I suggest that if you wanna do that, do the same thing, don't buy it anywhere else. I mean, I guess they sell it on Amazon nowadays, but I'm not 100% sure. I would just go straight to trezor.io and buy it right there. And if you wanna check it out, I'll drop the link down below. The device package was intact and untampered with. That's the one where we ripped it when I was unpacking it. So that was intact as well. So all the security checks are done. Now I'm gonna click set up my Trezor. Otherwise you can click I have doubts. So it says here that the Trezor is shipped without firmware. Install the latest firmware in order to use your device safely. For Bitcoin only users, we recommend installing Bitcoin only firmware. So if you're gonna be using only Bitcoin, you can click right here and it will, it will install only Bitcoin only firmware. It's also showing you the latest version, which is 2.6.4. And I'm gonna click install firmware. And it is restarting your Trezor. Validating the firmware. And it's done. Now we're gonna click continue. And now it's just gonna do a bunch of checks to make sure that everything is good on your device. It's gonna test it for reliability, integrity, and security. It's gonna make sure that the chip is genuine. So we're gonna click start and you're gonna pick up your device and over here you're gonna see this message that says allow connected computer to confirm your Trezor Safe 3 is genuine. And you're gonna click allow, meaning the right button and it's gonna check for authenticity. So it happened pretty quick and now it says congrats, your Trezor Safe 3 is ready to go. So we're gonna click continue and it says know your Trezor, learn how to use device with the help of a short tutorial. So you can pick up your Trezor and if you need a tutorial, you can go ahead and go over to understand how it works. And in order to confirm, you're gonna press both buttons and it's gonna say tutorial completed. So I'm gonna click continue. And over here on the screen, it says tutorial completed as well. So let's click continue. So create a new wallet or recover one from a backup using your recovery seed. Now, if you wanna import your wallet that's what you're gonna do, but I'm setting up a new wallet and I assume that's what you're doing as well. So we're gonna click create new wallet. So over here, you can choose your wallet backup. So I'm gonna be using standard seed phrase, but you can also do advanced Shamir backup. It looks like you can recover the wallet by combining list of words together. This can be secured in different places for added security. I'm not 100% sure how that works. We're gonna be using standard seed phrase. So let's click standard seed backup and you're gonna pick up your wallet and over here, it's gonna say that by continuing, you agree to Trezor Company's terms and conditions. So you're gonna click the right button. You're gonna click the right button again that says create wallet. I don't know if you can see guys, hopefully you can. It's not focusing. So we're gonna click create wallet and it's gonna say your wallet is almost ready. You've successfully set up your Trezor and created your wallet. You should never use your Trezor without backing it up. It's the only way to recover a lost wallet. So we're gonna click create backup. Here's just gonna give you a little warning saying that recovery seed backup is a series of randomly generated words created by Trezor. It's important that you write down your recovery seed and keep it safe. It's the only way to recover and access your funds. So there is a bunch of checks that we need to do that we understand all of these security measures, which is your recovery seed phrase lets you recover your funds in case of Trezor loss or damage. Never take a picture or make a digital copy of your backup, which is important. Don't make a digital copy of it. Just Keep it on these two security sheets and store your recovery seed securely and never share it with anyone. So we're gonna click begin backup. Pick up your Trezor and over here it's gonna say never make a digital copy of your backup or upload it online. 
and you're gonna press two buttons to confirm that you understand that. After that, it's gonna say, write down all 12 words in order. And you gotta write this down in the exact order that they're shown, meaning the first word is the first word, second is second, and so on. So we're gonna click show words, and it's gonna show your seed phrase on your treasure. So you're gonna take this sheet and you're gonna write it down here in the exact order that it's shown. So let me go ahead and do that. All right, once you wrote it down, what you're gonna do, you're gonna click the right button and you're gonna hold it to confirm. And on the next screen, it's gonna say, select the correct word for each position. So you're gonna click continue and it's gonna tell you which word you need to confirm. So you need to go get your recovery seed phrase sheet and you need to find that word and select the correct word at the position that it's telling you. And after you confirm three words correctly, it's gonna say success, you have finished verifying your recovery seed. So now you're gonna click continue, which is the right button, and it's gonna say backup is done, keep it safe. Click continue, and over here on the screen it says wallet backup complete. If you've written down your recovery seed, your treasure is almost ready, do not, use the, do not lose your recovery seed phrase, otherwise your funds could be inaccessible. So click continue to pin, and it's gonna say using a strong pin protects your treasure from unauthorized physical access. Click set pin, pick up your treasure, and over here you're gonna see a message that says turn on pin protection. So click on the right button. It says pin will be required to access this device, and I suggest that you set up the pin for your device. That way if somebody gets a hold of your treasure, at least they won't be able to use it because it's pin protected. And I believe they also have some mechanisms kind of like Ledger. I didn't do any research on that, but if you enter it wrong several times, it's going to erase this device. But don't quote me on that. I need to double check. I'll make sure to leave a note here in the video. So click turn on or right button. And it's going to say that pin should be 4 to 50 digits long. Click right button again. And it's going to say position of the cursor will change between entries for enhanced security. Click continue. And it's going to say enter new pin. How long you want your pin, choose the numbers. So let's go ahead and do that. So basically over here, you're going to move left and right with the two buttons. And then when you need to choose that number, you're going to press both of them at the same time. Once you've done entering your pin, select enter option and double press. And it's going to ask you to re-enter the pin. So go ahead and click continue and re-enter your pin. And it's going to say success, pin protection turned on. Not 100% sure you can see that, but I'm going to click continue. And over here on the screen, I'm going to click continue as well. Now from here, you can activate your coins, meaning you can choose which coins you want to see in the treasure suite after it takes you there. So you can choose Bitcoin, obviously. You can choose Ethereum. I don't know, maybe Dogecoin, Cardano, Solana. Choose whatever coins you want. You can also choose from testnet coins, which is nice. I'm not gonna do that for now. And I'm gonna click complete setup. And the setup is complete. So from here, you can edit the name or you can change home screen, but I'm gonna click access suite. And on this screen, you're gonna select wallet type. So Trezor has this thing called hidden wallet where it basically what it does is adds a passphrase to your existing 12 word recovery seed phrase. So this is just an extra layer of security in case somebody gets a hold of your 12 word seed phrase. They also need to know your passphrase in order to access this hidden wallet. So you can do that if you want, but I'm just gonna go with a standard wallet in this example. And we're done with the setup, guys. Now you can use this Trezor and send your crypto to this Trezor wallet for secure storage because it's a hardware wallet. It's better than any of the wallets on your computer or any of the centralized exchanges. So in order for you to send, all you have to do is click receive right over here. And it's gonna give you this address that you can use to send your crypto to. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please make sure to keep your seed phrase safe and secure. Place it in multiple spots, maybe one in the safe, the other one under the pillow or who knows, somewhere else. Make sure to remember your pin to unlock your device. And if you choose to use passphrase and use hidden wallet, you can do that as well. Later in the settings, you can choose to add another hidden wallet if you want that extra protection. I'm not gonna use it for this one, but that's totally up to you. So yeah, that was it guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was helpful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up to help YouTube algorithm. If you wanna grab one yourself, I'm gonna drop the link down in the description. If you wanna see more stuff like this, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.